to you all and good afternoon everyone. My name is Greatness Asabuti and this is day three of Christianity Greatness. Yes, day three of Christianity Greatness and I welcome you in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. I pray that this word meets you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our topic for today is what counsel are you receiving? What counsel are you receiving? Our Bible text is taken from Proverbs chapter 19 verse 20 to 21. Proverbs 19, 20 to 21. And it says, Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in the latter end. There are many devices in man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. Hello there. I have a question for you. Do you receive counsel? I guess the answer to that question will be a yes. And you may say that you receive it all the time. Counsel itself is simply advice offered by a person, typically to improve a situation. We could also say that counsel is wise leadership. Truly, we receive counsel from our parents, from friends and family, and from God. Still, to receive counsel, they involves two different parts. The first part is hearing the counsel, and the next part is then applying it. Now, I believe you'll be rethinking the answer you gave earlier on. And aside this, we need to also ask ourselves, what counsel am I receiving, or what counsel are we receiving? Now, there is a particular type of counsel, and I know that it is the best counsel you could ever receive, aside, ap- ap- among other types of counsel that we have. And this counsel is the counsel of God, as seen in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. A very great example is the a very great example of the counsel of God is the Holy Bible. Now, the Word of God is a very is an extremely pure source of God's counsel. God may also give counsel through visions, inspirations, through the Holy Spirit, through people, parents, men and women of God, and so many more. If you ask me, I will tell you to receive the counsel of God. A very good reason why we should accept God. God's counsel is so we can be wise for the rest of our lives. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 20. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 20. Secondly, we see that counsel helps to prevent destruction and keeps people from losing their ways, that is, from going astray. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 14. So if the counsel then comes from God, then it is sure to bring peace and joy. It will also lead people to eternal life, as seen in John 6, verse 68. It's also interesting to know that the counsel of God is an accumulation of all the good counsel you could ever find because God owns all the knowledge and all the wisdom as seen in Daniel chapter 2 verse 20 and Colossians 1 verse 28. And the more counsel we obtain, the safer we are. This is also confirmed in Proverbs chapter 11 verse 14. Finally, it is important to know that we need the grace of God to help us heed the counsel of God. We cannot, we cannot do anything without God. And we, and through Christ, we have the strength to do all things. Now, as that was also seen in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. So if you're not yet a child of God or you would like to be restored back to the presence of God, I would like you to say this. Dear God, I know you hear prayers and I have heard your word. I, I also cho- choose to commit myself back onto you and make you my only ruler. Please, God, I am sorry, and I want to be your child from now on and forevermore. Amen, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations on your new path in life. I pray that God be, 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 I pray that God be, with, be with you always, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You can also call these phone numbers for some advice, if you would. The first one is plus 234-8023-439314. Again, plus 234-8023-439314. The second number is plus 234-8023-059444. Again, second number is plus 234-8023-059444. Now, our prayer point for today is Father in Heaven, Please grant me your grace to hear your counsel and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Thank you, Lord, for hearing us. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Our hymn is, I'm pressing on the upward way. Continue that when you are free. Thank you so much for being with me today. I hope you have been blessed by God's word in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you perform the broadcast? My name is Peter Swazo Kuti once again. And I pray, that, I pray that God blesses you as you do so. Amen. The grace in fellowship. I mean, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit continue to be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely the Lord's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall continue to dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For in Jesus Christ, my name, we are free. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.